Lapuz has lost his serve a couple of times to Prinisal, but uh, both both times in the first set, unbroken after that. Kenzel. <laughs> Playing for the first time this week for Lapuz, was that the strapping that we've been seeing on his left calf Maybe that problem has uh, cleared up oh. <laughs> first ace Philippus is a low curtain not sure on the call. Yes, I saw it. We're sitting well along that line. I think it uh, really shot through off the side of the line. These are taped lines and the ball does shoot off them. Forehand is struck with uh, a lot of power. It's power that's within uh, the Philippus's range. That wasn't flat out. Served uh, a lot of doubles against Prinisil, but mainly in the first set. Five uh, in that first set, three doubles in one game. But after that, he cut it out. Well, I think we probably saw a typical Philippusa service game there. Two aces, one double fault, forehand winner, and a service hold. unbroken against Costa. In fact, uh, he was never taken to Deuce and only twice to uh, 30. Only twice did he lose two points on his serve. Yeah. Nice the backhand down the line that was working so well yesterday against Costa. And it's tough to pick which way he's going. Has such a, a relaxed style. <laughs> Most of these players like a bit of pasta before a match, but uh, Burton sometimes says he'll have a sandwich, even some yogurt. Good moving, really, by the pair of them. I think he intended to hit it short. It's not a bad idea to bring Curtin forward.
Well, even though he lost the point, not a bad idea early on from Philippoussis. Yes, very close to making it. Curtin really had to get down to it, and how well he stayed down on that shot. And then, of course, once you roll the ball and uh, play it close to the net, make the opponent volley up, you were going to expect the drop volley. This is a major achievement, really, by Philippoussis, doing what Albert Costa, with his uh, terrific ground strokes, couldn't do at all. Impressive body serve. With the second delivery from Curtin. Curtin's game has uh, moved forward even in leaps and bounds this year. And that cross-court forehand, which used to be a real weakness in his part, he's by and large improved. After all the hard work telling himself, and I'm sure most of you could see it, that he really didn't move close enough to the ball, tried to play it with a long stretch. Philippus is making Curtin work extremely hard in his opening service game. And that's a good start uh, mentally, you think, for Philippus. There, Peter McNamara, the Pusis coach, uh, Mark was saying yesterday in one of his press conferences that he was playing in a seniors event this weekend. So maybe McNamara's feigned injury to stay here in Paris. Zero. Well, how about that for a change from Philippoussis? Really. Lobbing the ball, actually putting uh, Curtin very much on the defensive. An idea, but of course he's got to finish off the point better. Okay. 
Jan Zetron. Third ace. 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 Third ace.
Trump can. He is standing a such a long way behind the baseline to receive first and second serves. Curtain. I wonder whether we'll see Philippoussis in employ a drop shot or two. Played the drop volley. So uh, not well enough. Yes, I was just oh thinking no. as you said that, I hope he doesn't because I don't think he plays it all that well. <laughs> and uh, sure enough. Although, as I said earlier, I think it's a good aim to bring Curtin in. What he needs to do is play short shots as opposed to this attempt. He can do it on his backhand side, particularly with Curtin way back. Oh, the top. No breaks here, closing uh, five games of the uh, semi final. So it's been a, a fascinating first five games, nothing too spectacular to really speak of. Curtain at 2 3. pace with which he was uh, re-gripping, the slow pace, suggests to me that maybe he could employ Sampras when he gives up the game because he can <laughs> really get through a grip. Wow. That's one of the best shots that Philippoussis has struck so far. His fourth forehand yes, winner. And just getting enough control on it here, you can see the arch of the racket over the ball, imparting that bit of control spin. First ace for Curtin. Served uh, eight against Albert Costa. He's averaging over nine a match this year, is Curtin. Underrate the serve at your peril, really, isn't it, from Curtin? You think a play quarter, but it's quite a weapon. Uh, Philippus is playing the short one, but getting hoist with his own petard here. You've got to look for the return drop shot from a clay court specialist. He's been very comfortable in his own service games, apart from his first one of the match in the the second game when Philippus is stretching to juice. And as you can hear, probably a little bit more support see. for the Brazilian chance of Guga going around the Palais Omni Sports. Zero. He'd be a good spokesman for the Guggenheim <laughs> Museums, wouldn't he? <laughs> that new one in uh, Bilbao. Oh. 
around the zero. I say chance of Guga. Philippus is uh, nicknamed one of them is Flipper. But you can't imagine chance of Flipper going around the stadium, can you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I rather like that. <laughs> Goes to Mark Philippoussis and with it 4 3 lead. <laughs> Philippoussis has been the one who has put curtain serve under more of an examination so far. New balls. Curtain 3 4. That's a good play. That is a great play. And you think of the contrast in re two returns. First point, the massive forehand. And here just uh, taking all the pace off. But what a sharp uh, backhand top that was. First uh, percentage slowly increasing to 58% now from Curtin was below 50. Served well from Love 30. In fact, uh, hadn't served badly to go Love 30 down. That was the quality of Philippoussis returning. See you, Lovely control and curtain just a, a little slow off the mark. See those long legs, he's not able to pump them quite quickly enough to begin with. <laughs> Needs to do some uh, <laughs> Stanley Matthews exercises, as does the linesman. <laughs> and brought a smile to Philip Hoose's face. Took it all to get out of the way with that one. Round zero. Can't afford to make those type of returning errors, Curtin, on a second serve. Gotta make this man play. Stanley Matthews, the great um, English footballer, Sir Stanley, who was a great fan of tennis and believed uh, really that quickness off the mark was so essential in both football and tennis. Which is one of the reasons why he was able to play football at such high levels into his 40s. That's uh, nine points in a row on the Philippusa serve. And a little unlucky because he was uh, definitely beaten there. Oh. 
Well, nine points in a row on the Philippus' serve. Curtin will serve to stay in the first set. Serving to stay in the first set. Zero counts. Well, that's the fourth time he's won the first point. Which is good attention to duty, really. a super all-court tennis. I thought the way Philippoussis was playing his backhand slice was as good as I've ever seen him play it. A different sort of tilt of the racket head and yet uh, then that little bit of delicacy by Curtin. Totally unexpected just at the right time. Defensive lob and Philippusis. Your room in the air here is limitless, which uh, is, a, is another real positive for uh, the Pele Omni Sport here. You can really give it a lot of height. Stand. Tough for him to see it and probably tough for the linesman to see it on the baseline as well. That's Peter McNamara. The Pusis coach been working with him since October of this year. Their uh, second go at coach player relationship. Well, he missed a few like that uh, latterly in the match against Prinisil, and he uh, just opened up a little too soon. Showed uh, the opponent a bit too much of the chest, and not using quite enough left shoulder here. You can see the right arm's coming through a bit too quickly. Jim Curtin. Curtin continues to be examined on his own serve. But as of yet, uh, Philippus is yet to make that breakthrough. See you later. Cancel. Take 11 straight points now on the Philippus' serve. 12. 12. It's quite a run. Forward to seeing more of these backhand slices. I think that's 
just a matter of retaining it. Sometimes players play a shot well and then uh, it fades from their memory. But I think it actually helps him to control his backhand drive better. time in this set that Philippus has been taken to 30. This is huge. I didn't want to see him playing dry volleys because he's come a cropper with a few of them this week. Fourth ace. Oh. Well, it's gone down as an ace, but Philippus has got an outside edge that threw McMillan caught at first slip. Fingertips are still ringing with. <laughs> Well, that was his fifth ace. Again, going out wide to the Philippus's forehand. He's got a good rhythm on that, Curtin, right now. And he's going to need it going into the tie break. The records uh, for this year. Curtin, 126, lost 20. Philippus is 24-20. Three of those uh, tie breaks in his uh, record for this year coming this week. Two against Rabati and one against Prince Hill. 
And he's won every one. Yes, I think generally he's a, a more successful tie-break player than Curtin is. But uh, Curtin's improved serving should help him these days. Many breaks, the Australian. He can't afford to give him too many mini breaks. If he gets this next point here, the way that he has been serving, dangerous. But he'd done all the hard work getting a terrific serve back and getting it back deep. He's definitely looking more the hunter. Curtin, perhaps uh, a little too much of a gatherer. Needs to do a bit of hunting himself. this one pretty badly wrong it's quite far back but still he's got more touch than this suggests Continues to hold on to just the one mini break. 4 1 sounds uh, quite a long way behind. So just the one break of serve. Philippoutis were to snatch one of these two points on the curtain serve. It could be curtains for curtain in this first set. Oh, pass offs there. done just that well again that backhand that I was talking about for Philippus is so useful in blocking that serve back and getting it back deep getting himself into the point <laughs> Stefan Simeon in the right a former French player this next point as well or else it'll be three set points for Philippoussis. not happy but it was a good call it wasn't cleanly struck on the backhand side and it is three set points for the Australian 
Stephen still Stephen somewhat Hunt. dismayed by the call. That's a great little point because look at this get by Philippoussis. Most unusual He's shot there. Philippoussis. And uh, Curtin so alive to the fact that it might just be a net call. See you okay. Showing great hands. Never an easy shot. Oh, oh it's an overall from the chair. <laughs> I don't think uh, Curtin has too many problems with that. No, and I don't, wouldn't have thought it would have uh, affected his play either, but uh, I think Alette is a sensible. Plus, he gets a first serve. I don't think that's sensible, but that's the way the rules work. Yes, sir. So he's got one left. This time it's one on the serve. of play, Philippoussis takes first set, seven games to six. We pick up action in the second set. One game all, second set. Signs that he's starting to uh, emerge. Oh, oh, Gustavo Curtin. He's looking to play more inside the court. Philippus has got to try and stop him doing that, particularly with these second serves arriving. Curtin's first love game of the match. Uh, two one lead. New balls. Philippus is one two. is keeping your eye on the ball when it's not easy to. Well, this one yet to come down. In fact, I think it stayed up. No, it's just come down. 
stayed up there for a while. This is more like it from Gustavo Curtin. Backhand is really starting to fire. Oh, one of the few, uh, very few bits of serve volleying, and of course he had to play it on the half volley in the end. It's giving Curtin that much more time. That's a real test of uh, a shot which I was saying earlier used to be a pronounced weakness of curtains that cross court shot he's been playing it a lot better this year and there he needed it. Well, he's in a much more forceful mode now, but if, unfortunately, he stands such a long, long way back. Getting into that service game at 30 all with a couple of classy backhand winners and then plays two very poor service returns. And really allows Philippousis off the hook. Last touch. Pretty fearless in the air, these chaps, aren't they? Of course, most of the current players are wonderful smashers of the ball. You used to find that at clay quarters, couldn't really smash at all. But the technique much improved these days. Oh, that's some pass. Strength from the legs and the wrist to flick that one cross court. Oh, no. Really playing some unusual shots and unusually good ones too. <laughs> well, read it and Curtin in danger a little bit of maybe overplaying that serve out wide to the Philippus's forehand. It's provided a few aces. So you're going to the strength. First 
juice of this second set. And once again, it's Curtin who's the man being asked the question. First double fault for Curtin. Yes, this is his first double fault in two matches. himself on here, Gustavo Curtin, all the time he's trying to raise his level. I think he's just about getting there. Filipus is doing well to stay with him in the early stages of this second set. I <laughs> believe Philip has won the point because he's given up the ghost. Well, I hope he learns a lesson from this, Philip It's just to uh, never, never give up trying. And that'll add a new dimension to his game as well. Really had stopped. Of course, Curtin didn't realise he had. So as well, if Curtin comes to the net, make him play. <laughs> Third eight of this set for Philippoussis, takes his tally to nine. Hasn't been uh, hitting them as fast as he normally does, as quick as so far, 201 kmh. First double fold of this set, only two, so one a set so far. Yes, against Costa, he served five doubles and 22 points. Then he didn't serve a double for 55 points. He really stayed clear of them. Said Costa, of course, I should have said Prinisil. It's Curtin that played Costa. Yes. 
Merci. to uh, hold that point there, Philippoussis, because Curtin's fans were making their presence known, and some of them were making their presence known too much. So concentrated well, Philippoussis, and we're still yet to have a break point in this first semi-final. Some uninitiated types throwing the ball back. <laughs> Been impressed with his defensive play today, Philippoussis. Curtin finishes the point off with a forehand. Always a difficult call for the linesman, those with the players uh, standing on the baseline, half volleying. But I think he got it right. Relaxation here at 40 Love, you could feel it in the serve. Second love game with this set for the star of 13. 4 3, second set, first set for Lapusis. Baseline play from both men has been quite brilliant on their own serve. So can Curtin here break that line of zeros? Cancel. Goes into double figures in the aces. Apologies from Lapusis. I'm sure he probably didn't need to be that good. He's played a few of these low skimming backhands in this match so far. That one might be a little bit fortunate, but effective nonetheless. Yes, and again, it just reflects, I think, the, uh, the comparative brilliance with which he's playing that. 
Kendisini seviyorum. Each player has lost just six points in his serve in the second set. Won too many of the long exchanges at Philippoussis this afternoon. It's an interesting battle, isn't it? Uh, the willowy arm of uh, Curtin against the, uh, the much stronger limb that Philippoussis has. Young Cornicova. Of course, Cornicova in the uh, semi finals of the Chase Championships in New York. Playing oh. Martina Hingis. Now, here's an opportunity should he miss the first serve, does Philippus has looked to come in, sort of rafter like, Sampras like. players are their spoil sports. Drifted wide, just came inside the shot a little bit too much there for the Pusis. And it will be the Aussie's turn to serve, to stay in a set. more of those Philippoussis only 39% first serves in so far <laughs> fifth ace of the set 11 in total Backhand to backhand, it's been uh, such a feature of the match, hasn't it? The one thing you should look for, another seventh winner there from Curtin, is the fact that they show the opponent the butt of the racket. This gives them maximum leverage. in that rally curtain. It's two points away from levelling the set all. Yes, I think primarily because uh, Philippoussis didn't hit it as well as he intended to. He actually dropped it very short and uh, Curtin not reacting to the shortness.
Anshu Patel. So now, of course, Philippoussis will be just ahead in the points race, played an even number of games. But I wonder whether that wasn't uh, McNamara's voice suddenly uh, in Philippoussis' ear at 30 all. You've got an easy forehand here, just rein it in. You missed too many against Prinisol. Yes, Most interesting thought. Curtain now into double figures in the aces. A double. see what he was trying to do yes what we were looking for him to do on the last curtain service game and curtain got the first serve in at this stage well, can curtain continued to go out wide Philippus is just covering it a little bit more Steady play, controlled play from Philippoussis. Both men not going for too much, and it was the Brazilian that elected to go for it, made the error, and it's a first break point in this first semi final. Well, he didn't have too much time to control that one, but uh, I would think the next time he got a, a backhand slice to play for Lapuzis, he should really give himself a bit more court, try and per perhaps play it cross court. <laughs> McNamara and his band. Well, Curtin is the first player to face a break point. And he faces it down, and once again, Lopezis will serve to stay in this set. Curtin requesting the umpire to uh, ask the folk to stop using flash. Of course, sometimes they will just work automatically.
Well, sometimes you wonder who the uh, French, twice French Open champion is. For the is now beginning to uh, win a few more of these longer rallies. That certainly should be classed as a, a point one at the net because he's driving en route to it. Forehand winner from Curtin. And again, he's really having to strike it well because look how far he's playing from behind the baseline. That's one of the reasons why John Ableton make much of an impression on the Philippines. His second serve. Um. So two points to take us into uh, yet a, another tiebreak, and you might say into Philippines' country. Another breakup to decide the outcome will either go into a final set or Philippoussis will claim the first position in tomorrow's final. Records, in case you weren't here uh, for the first set, uh, Curtin 26 21 and Philippoussis 25 20 for the. Uh, Philippoussis in this tournament played. Four tie breaks, including this one in the first set, and has won every one. Two against Rabati, one against Prinisil, and one here today. So he's up against it. Curtin needs uh, a good start. Dropped his uh, opening point of the first set tie break. Perhaps suggesting that he's going to look to uh, take to the net at the earliest opportunity here. Players tend on big points to be a little more aggressive, not wanting to be dominated. And of course, every point in the tiebreaker is a big one. Overall from Umpire Berger. Kirkman clearly thought it was wide. Points to it to Philippoussis. So a second serve. When I looked down at the uh, doubles column as soon as that delay took place, thinking he might really rip it in temper, but he almost put too much control on it. First mini break this time to Curtin. Well, it's not often you see the players quite as wild on the dry volleys as uh, we've seen here in the last couple of days. The volley that used to be called the Australian volley.
just... Oh, that was side edge, if anything. I was half expecting the linesman to stick the arm out. Yes, and umpire Berger was assuring the linesman that he agreed with the call. You can hear that the crowd doesn't, though. I think it's just got enough line. I think both men were holding their breath. And this one landed. So it changed ends. And it's three points apiece. Victor ball boy to be throwing the ball, so balls are going to come from behind his back to the ball boy to feed him. You'd think he'd had the sun in his eye on the other side. Well, it's ironic, isn't it? Curtain from the word go in the tiebreaker looked the aggressor, whereas Philippus is even including his serve has just uh, reined in a bit. Baseline curtain and proving successful. Three set points, level of set all. points since uh, Philippus has served an ace. Curtain, this one on his serve. Oh, oh would you believe it? Oh, he's played so well in that area in this tie break, and then on the set point, he dumps it in the net. There's a bit of uh, duplication here because Philippus was using the backhand slice so well when he had the opportunity on the curtain serve to break and serve for the match. It didn't uh, work for him. Curtain's doing so well by coming forward, volleying in the, in the tiebreaker, and when he needs it most, he lets him down. So three set points missed for Curtin. Thank 
Philippoussis. It's almost been because Philippoussis has been careful and controlled, so is Curtin. He's got uh, involved in what Philippoussis has been doing at the other end. This one, normally, Curtin would hit for a winner. But it's brought up a match point for the Australian. Curtain. I think Philippus has felt that uh, he was in a way forced to go for it, having missed the match point by playing cautiously. A wonderful return using that same slice. Even applauded by the Brazilian's coach. Oh. Well, when he elected to play that drive volley on the backhand side, you knew he was going to miss it. He missed one on the forehand. Backhand is even harder to connect with. And a second match point for Philippoussis. Gutsy shot after he'd missed the backhand drive volley to play a shot like this on a match point. Yes, he had a lot of control in it, giving it a, a lot of spin. So third change of ends, two match points missed. From Philippoussis, four set points missed from Curtin. No problem on the volley for the Australian. Curtin telling himself to be a lot more positive and of course being able to because the return from uh, Philippus is just falling too short. On 
Joseph Dees, Curtin. 12th ace for Curtin. Philippoutis was giving him that one down the middle. He was standing quite a way wide. His faster serve of the match, Curtin, 197 Ks. Set point number five. Well, that's an amazing decision making there by Philippoussis. Second serve fly in. A real rarity. But again, that same tilting of the racket head and decision, decisiveness on the backhand, so helping him now. Well, that's unbelievable coverage. It really was. The, the first volley was quite brilliant, the second was even better. And yet another match point for Philippoussis. Good call, good call by the umpire, wasn't it? <laughs> Missed it. A real shame that there had to be a loser in this first uh, semi-final. Curtin goes out in straight sets, having not dropped his serve. That'll be a, a bitter pill to swallow. But it'll come down to the volleying errors that Curtin made, especially in that tie-break. <laughs> 